Hey guys, Problem 1701 here, and today I'm going to be ranking the seventh Doctor Stories with a tier list. The TV movie is also at the end. We'll be ranking that as well. Now you guys know if you've been following these tier lists lately that C is average for me. So anything that's in C is average. Anything that's above C is above average. Anything that's below C is below average. And we're going to start. These are in random order. I'm kind of liking doing them that way, actually. I'm going to start with Ghost Light. Boom. S tier. I love Ghost Light. I love Ghost Light. I absolutely love Ghost Light. It's just different. It has atmosphere. It's creepy. It's spooky. It uses lighting well. And it's got a pretty good cast for the most part. I enjoy it. Plus, the effects for light are really well done. Curse of Fenric. Boom. S tier. This is the quintessential McCoy story for me. I absolutely love Curse of Fenric. Uh, Battlefield. Solid B. Solid B for me with Battlefield. Good to see the brig back one last time. Uh, what is Delta and the Bannerman F? No. Terrible. Terrible. Tonally, it's all over the place. It's got a few things going on for it, but it's still F. It's, it's one of the worst classic Doctor Who stories, though better than a lot of stuff modern Who has put out. Definitely F. Uh, greatest show in the galaxy... Little below average. The last episode's really good. The third episode's kind of meh, but the first two episodes are terrible. The last episode doesn't quite make up for the rest of it, but since it does stick the landing, it's just a little below average for me. Paradise Towers, <clears throat> solid A. I've only seen it the one time, but I think the story is a solid A. Happiness Patrol, which kind of reminds me of Paradise Towers, also a solid A. Very good stuff. Time in the Ronnie. See, I think it's average, actually. I actually like Time in the Ronnie, especially knowing all the stuff going on behind the scenes, all the rewrites it had to go through. I think it's a miracle it came out as good as it did. Got some good special effects. And the Tetrap outfits look really good. I got to give credit for that. What is this? Is that Dragonfire? I guess that's Dragonfire. Okay, Dragonfire B. Solid B. Used to be I would have it higher. But it's a solid B story. Um, Silver Nemesis. Mm, that's a little trickier, actually. I'm going to say C. I like it well enough. It doesn't quite pull off what it's going for exactly. But it, it, I think it's average. I think it's a good average story. Survival... Mm, is it average or a little below average? It's fine. It's average. It gets a little more credit than it's due because it's the final story, but it's not bad. And it's Anthony Angley's best performance in the role of the master. Uh, it's definitely got some good stuff going for it. <clears throat> Remembrance, definitely S tier. Um, it's definitely one of McCoy's essential stories. And the TV movie goes in A tier for me. I like the TV movie. McCoy's great in it. What brief time we get with him. I like McGann. I like Eric Roberts' master. I enjoyed the unique look of it. There's no other movie quite like the TV movie. So just on the basis of the McCoy era, <coughs> this is where everything stacks up to me. That's a pretty good run, actually. Uh, Ghost Light, Fenric, and Remembrance in, in S, and Paradise Towers, Happiness Patrol in the movie in A, Battlefield, Dragon Fire still above average, and then for average stories that are you know they're fine. We have Ronnie, uh, Silver Nemesis, and Survival, with really only a couple below dropping below average. With the Greatest Show being just a little below, even though it does end on a great solid episode. And then Delta and the Bannerman's just terrible, it's just terrible. It's got a couple good things going on in it. The casting for Ray is good. Some of the music is good, but for the most part, it's pretty bad. That is how I would rank the McCoy era and the TV movie. I want to know what you think of this list and how you would rank them. So comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon if you would like to support me on that. And a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well. Most importantly, I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane, Colin Coney, and Finn Perkins, because I do appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. And as always, thank you for watching.